Welcome back to technically Harry Potter, but mostly not. Yeah, I mean, it is still Harry Potter, but you, you know, say whatever you want to, I guess. This is also... No, I'm actually trying... I, I will talk about Harry Potter, because I'm trying to remember what this house is. This is Luna Lovegood's house. Luna Lovegood's house. She's Ooh. the, the blonde girl. The, cr the, the kooky... I'm oh, so silly, I believe in yeah. weird creatures. Yeah. I don't remember ever seeing her house in the movies. They go to her house in one of the last two, because it happens in the last book where they go... Oh, yeah. Oh, in the first it's the part. Fir it's the first part. Because isn't, like, her dad the person that tells them all about the Deathly Hollows? Her dad tells them all about the Deathly Hollows, and then he sells out the three of them to the Snatchers, or, well, to the Death Eaters. The Snatchers. Because... Is that the, the new, um... The new position in Quidditch. Yeah. There's beaters and keepers, and now there's snatchers. Yeah, that's they snatch you out of the sky. Um, he sells them out because they have they're holding Luna hostage. Yeah, that was uh, it was an interesting little part of the story, I guess. Yeah, it it, it definitely it was. What do we need now? We need him. We need him. We might need him. So we don't might need him. Throw him in yet? Who's this guy? I know who that is. It's it's the Wolfman. Uh, do we need Aquaman anymore? Uh, no. No, I just needed it for that one small thing. Oh, just the one small thing. There's so much. Oh God! They killed the school. Oh God! His head fell off. So Harry Potter. Yes. It's a very popular young adult series of books. Seven yep. books in total, dating back to roughly. Uh, before now. Technically, there's eight books now. Not Harry Potter books. No, but, um, what's it called? Unless you're counting Cursed Child, which I think was only technically published as, like, a play, wasn't it? It was, but it does still have the Harry Potter name on it. I guess. So, I would I would count that one. Where? Okay, now I need Tom Cruise. Spoilers! Oh, we didn't know We didn't know who it was. I thought I... Okay. Oh, look, it's Tom Cruise. Yay. I thought I needed Tom Cruise. Yeah, it doesn't look like you, I, you need Tom Cruise. I think I need him for the one up there, though. In this series of seven books, young child Harry Potter discovers that there is more to his life than he realizes. Yeah. After being locked in a closet for decades, probably actually only one decade, that would, that would have been most of his life. What is, he's ten in the first book, right? Uh, yeah, because it begins right before his 11th birthday. After being locked in a closet for a decade, yes. he discovers he's the magical power of Yeah, that's, uh, you know, I don't think that's the power that he finds. He we might have read different books. <laughs> yeah, it sounded to me like you and I read different books. It, it, oh Jesus. Why can Voldemort summon the Hogwarts Express? Because they needed to give him a vehicle, so they thought the Hogwarts Express was the good choice. They had, there's so many. They could give him uh, the snake, Nagini. Yeah, they could have. And he could ride the snake around. Yeah, he could have. That would have been cool. Look, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna say he could have, but he didn't. I'm just saying snakes are very underappreciated in terms of rideable creatures. Have you ever ridden a snake? That's apart from the the point. No, no, no. That's that's exactly the point. No, right? that's apart from the point. No, no, no. Why don't you Why don't you tell me? Have you ever ridden the snake? I have not personally. No. But you know someone that has. I did not say that. That's what it sounded like you were getting ready. Hey, to say. well, just because you assumed something doesn't mean you can just assume that. All right, I'm gonna need you to pull out everyone except for Newt and Supergirl. Also, I'll assume whatever I want. Oh god, you took everybody out. You said pull everybody out. I said everybody except Newton and Supergirl. <laughs> so who's that? Oh, is that, um... Jacob. Okay, I didn't realize he was still with you. Yeah, he, he came... <laughs> I must have missed the part in the movie where they went to Luna Lovegood's house. Yeah, he, he, he came and with And tackled me, Voldemort. Uh, he came with me, what, 70 years in the future? That's fun. Yeah, it would be. So, uh, what This movie takes place when? Like 1924 or something? <laughs> That sounds about right. Because it takes place in the 20s, and it's like before there's really a whole lot of, like, um, you know... Time travel? Great Depression. To, yeah, time travel. Yeah, well, that didn't really hit big in the Americas until, like, the 40s. Yeah? Yeah. W give me an example. Oh, everyone everyone knows what I'm talking about. 
Yeah. Come on, you guys, back me up here. Well, they'll they'll back you up, but uh, for those of us that uh, that are, for those out there that aren't sure, would you uh, would you mind maybe uh, maybe explaining it to them? I think we all know that the only reason the Allied forces won World War One and Two was because of time travel. Really? Yeah. yeah. What did, what did they time travel to do? For the uneducated out there. Uh, I think we all remember the legendary tale of General Washington. Okay. Who time traveled into the 1940s. Right. To lead the American forces and storm the beaches of Normandy. Right. At which point, anyone, all, all, all uh, soldiers that were injured then just time traveled several seconds back to the past so they knew where the bullets were coming from right yeah yeah which is why you know the history books say it's amazing no one ever got hurt or killed or anything it's actually because time travel uh have you been reading these different books than i have again mm, i don't think so no i'm i'm thinking i'm thinking i'm thinking you are well no this was the other timeline since then I, what do you want me to do? Put it on the put it on the bottom left corner. Well, who? There's not a plant creature figure. Uh, I think you just moved Newt. This is it because Newt is the one that put him in there. I guess so. I don't remember now. Okay, so boom, boom, boom. There you go. Oh, okay. See, every other time I've played. Uh, I've only ever. Moved him to a platform that was glowing. Yeah, the, I'm just gonna let you know now that this puzzle actually comes up several times throughout this game. Okay, well now I know how to do it. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna trim that little part out. <laughs> but that's the best part. Comedy gold of you. Comedy trying to, gold. Comedy gold of you trying to figure out how to maneuver a stick. Look at that! Button. Look at all that comedy gold we just unlocked. <laughs> all of that comedy gold we just yeah no. It's literally gold. Oh, I need Supergirl again. That is comedic. How do you not see this? How do you not see this comedy gold, Eric? You want to see real comedy gold? Watch this. Look at that. He had a cake in his pocket, and he sat uh -huh. on it. That's so humorous. Are you making fun of me? So funny. Watch Supergirl destroy America's market. Oh, I thought these were going to give me things. It's just a bunch of money. It's just a bunch of comedy gold? <laughs> Why? Do you, it's not comedy. Why do you keep saying that? Are you... Is, is there something wrong? Are you having, like, comedy withdrawals? It's comedy gold. I don't know how you don't see why this is funny. I, I, I don't. I really don't. I need you to explain to me why it's funny. Because it's gold. Okay. And it's made of an inherently comedic medium. Okay, I don't follow. Lego. Okay. Lego pieces. Okay. A lot of the inherent fun of the Lego games is that it's... it's so it's gold, and it's made out of a funny children's toy. So it is literally comedy gold. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to tell you, I'm, I'm still I'm not, I'm just, I'm not following. How about you just, you carve a little diamond? I'm trying to. The, the little helper block is in the way. Well, then move the helper block. I didn't actually know that I could move those. That would have helped me out in some other instances. Well, takes one to know one. What the heck does that mean? I'm a helper block. I help you find comedy gold. <laughs> you see that? That was comedy gold. Was it? It looked more like a comedy ruby. Oh, I'm gonna skip this. Oh, um, I'm gonna skip past this part, don't worry about it. But how are we supposed to know what to build? Yeah. Writing to the toy tag. Toy tag saved. Awesome. Cool. He grew drastically. Yeah, he got he got real big. Look at him wheel his little butt. I don't remember that part of the movie. What the part where he digs Jacob out of pile of dirt? I was not aware that the more greed he exhumed Yeah, the bigger he got. The bigger he got. No yeah, he's uh he's you know, he's one of those things that just gets big. You you know the ones. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you know, you know exactly the ones I'm talking about. Join us next time as we find out where Newt's commander and Jacob. Some of that's getting trimmed out. 
It'll be a few more minutes. Uh, it's Commander. We'll just, uh, we'll, he just uppercut Whoa! Him. He knocked him clean out. Oh, for like two seconds. Yeah, well, he's fine now. And then she jumped on him. Who are you? I'm Newt Scander, and you are? You could not have chosen a worse time. Are you going to start voice acting? You could not have chosen a worse time to let that creature loose. I'm taking you in. I'm taking you in. She flashed her badge and everything. She flashed and then said, I'm taking you. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's, uh, I don't think that's what happened. You don't remember that part of the movie? No, I, I must not have seen that part oh. yet. See, this was about where I was at. Mm. Yeah, I remember this part. Oh, uh, yeah. See, just, let's just say those aren't ones. He's polishing. Wow. Well, you wipe well. his memory, right? <gasps> this is, this is section 3A, Mr. Salamander. So, Tina, what are you doing tonight? Uh, Mr. Graves, this is Mr. Scamander. He's got a crazy creature in this case. That's not what I asked, Tina. I want to go out for a drink. I didn't know that Graves was trying to date Tina. No, not date. Oh. Just, you know, like... Casual encounters. Oh, okay. I, see, she doesn't right, seem like that type, though. Let's see the little guy. Also, given that his name is, you know, Graves, that's a little ominous. That's just what he's into. He's or a, wants to get into. He's a... Oh. He, so he likes to, uh... Um... With dead, uh... With, uh... With, uh, with corpses. With, yeah. He's a corpsologist. Oh, a corpsologist? Oh boy, we're, we, this has been accruing interest with your hosts, Eric, and that other guy. Thanks. Join us next time as we discover the magic of compound interest. Yeah. <laughs>